Hello, hello everybody. I'm Laura. I'm going to be doing beauty comparisons today of high quality salon style fancy schmancy hair dryers. I'm super excited about this because when you blow dry your hair, it can really kind of knock out a lot of um, the healthiness in your hair. Living especially in a cold climate or if you got to go out and look nice, you got to blow dry your hair. That's why we want to check out these high quality, awesome, lightweight blow dryers. So let's check them out, compare them, see what we like about both of them, what we don't like about them. So this video is going to go in depth about the Dyson blow dryer and then the SRI dry Q blow dryer. First of all, I have the Dyson and this Dyson blow dryer has gotten a lot of press. Um, about high quality is it is pretty expensive as well. Um, so I got it in the mail. This is how it comes. This is a really pretty color. I love that color. It's sleek and um, definitely smaller than the old 80s ones that I still use that are really big. And my hair can get stuck in the back. So I'm excited. It just looks totally different and definitely upgraded. Now this cord is kind of big and clunky, so it might not be the easiest to travel with. There's this big a uh, power pack thing there, this big honker of, um, of a plug. And then it does come with some attachments. This one is kind of a diffuser. You have these two to kind of make it sleeker. And so that's the Dyson one. And it is a little bit heavy. So again, to travel with it might be a little bit of annoying and maybe holding it in your hand. We'll find out when I actually wash and blow dry my hair too. Um, but overall, again, I like the color, looks nice. So oh, this is the SRI Skin Research Institute from with Dry Q. So it's um, ionic and infrared blow dryer with intelligent heat settings to protect your hair from heat damage. I need that, um, and it dries your hair three times faster with salon quality results. Gotta love that. So check that out. Let's check out the blow dryer itself. Oh, I love this. This is nice and lightweight too. A lot more lightweight than the Dyson. It's got, got a really funky, fun look to it. Look at that. Wow, it folds right up. That's pretty awesome to travel with. You can just wrap the cord around there. The Dyson one does not fold up, but that one folds up. That's pretty cool. Snaps right into place like that. Um, it definitely has a nice look. I love the black. I love um, the gold tips and the gold buttons right there. Beautiful. So this cord long, just like the other one, but it doesn't have, it's not as big and clunky as the Dyson one. So you can easily wrap it around to travel with. Feels nice and light in my hand too. Now this one also has the three attachment for the diffuser and then a nice sleek look and then probably just the regular one. Let's see how they clasp on. Oh, they clasp on really nice and easy too. They kind of have a magnetic kind of attachment too. So they're very similar, but this one is definitely, I'd say, Overall, uh, the biggest difference is that this one's smaller and lighter and kind of fits in your hand easier. The cord isn't as clunky. Making travel easy and making it just storage in general is gonna be a lot easier with that too. So that's the look and feel of them. Okay, so we took a, a in-depth look at the unboxing and now let's take a look at what they can actually do. So there's two buttons here. Obviously this is the on and off button. And then this is the airflow button. So this is going to control how much air is coming out. So you have three different settings for that. So it is a sleek design how it shows that, but three different uh, settings for the airflow. And then you have the temperature here. And then they have LED lights on the side that show the three different settings. So that's kind of a sleek design. And then this button down here is just the cold shot. On this one, um, it's pretty self-explanatory with those buttons. So you have the on and off back here, and then you have your cold shot here, and then you have a fast dry setting, which is pretty nice, medium, low, and then hot and cold. And then this will go up to uh, three different settings for the hot and cold. It actually has three self-regulating modes, and then it also has infrared technology, negative ion technology. So now I'm gonna go wash and blow dry my hair. Are you excited to see which one gets better results? I know I am. Okay, so I split my hair in half and I'm going to blow dry one side with the Dyson and one side with the SRI Dry Q. It's nice and quiet too. That's nice. Fast dry, then fast. Oh, you can see it right there. 
All right, side one done. Now we're gonna do Dyson on the next side. Turn it on. So I mentioned these are the buttons here for airflow and heat. So I'm gonna do them high for both of them and see how it works out. This is also powerful and quiet too. The other one might have been a little bit more quiet. This one might feel just a little bit more powerful, but I'm kind of having trouble with that. So now my hair is all nice and dry and stylized. Here on this side from the SRI Dry Q, and this side is from the Dyson. So you can kind of see overall how my hair looks from both of them. They both look nice and shiny, but I think the SRI Dry Q is a bit shinier. The Dyson one was really powerful and it dried fast, but it almost kind of put some snarls in my hair and it didn't get it as shiny. This side also dried really fast and it was really, really quiet and really easy to use the SRI Dry Q. So overall, two really awesome ones. I wanna point out too that the SRI Dry Q has several different buttons that you can kind of personalize it for what you're looking for and you can personalize it for how powerful you want it and I put it at the most powerful one. So you can kind of see the difference this one did it faster, but this one did it smoother and shinier and still fast. And that was the SRI Dry Q on this side, the Dyson on this side. Check them out, guys.